Ranking the best Pokemon to use in Pokemon Legends ZA. We're gonna go through the top 10. So first one is Meowstic. All right, that's Meowstic. Bro, what? Honestly, I like, hold on, bro. I actually like this one on the right. What you mean? It has that little, it has that little hat that the French wear. You know, this is based on Lumios, right? So, I mean, look at him. He even has a scarf. Or she has a scarf. No discrimination here. If you want something to represent Lumios, I go with the one on the right. Actually, what is that? What are, what are their hats called? Don't, I'm going to get flamed in the comments for not knowing this. It's a beret. That's what it is? Beret. Beret. I feel like I just offended so many people. Come on, that's a little beret, right? That's a, that's a beret. We're going to go through stats. 466, weak to bug, ghost, and dark. So I guess, yeah, it's a straight psychic type. It's not horrible. Any good abilities at least? Okay, so it's got keen eye, infiltrator, and prankster. Okay, so you have the chance of having prankster. If you had to basically go around and, you know, you see this Pokemon, I'd put it on my team. I would. Like, like why, why not? If you want the full Kalos experience, this thing speaks. You know, the wee wee, you know, like croissant. Okay, I'll put it in B. That, that's fair, like that's fair. You know, if it wasn't, so, if it didn't have like, you know, the France vibe to it, if it didn't have like the Kalos vibe to it, then I wouldn't necessarily be putting it in B tier. Obviously it would probably be D tier, but since it gave me extra points because of the little beret, I'm gonna take it on B tier. Next Pokemon is Gligar. Honestly, I feel like Gligar could be one of those Pokemon that gets a Mega Evolution, but I just don't think they will. You know, it's a great Pokemon to have. Uh, hell yeah, I would put Gligar on my team. This is like a Landorus, but like obviously way weaker than Landorus. <laughs> but you know, you get what I'm saying. Ground flying is a great typing. Four times weak to ice, but it's like, if that's all you have to worry about, and then water, I don't see why not. And look, it even says right here, X and Y, Mountain Ka Mountain Ka uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Mountain Kalos. So I have to believe that if it's in the Kalos region in X and Y, why wouldn't they put it in Pokemon Legends ZA? The only thing that I have problem with is like, you know, Razor Fang, like, although it is an important item for Gliscor, or for Gligar to evolve, where are they going to put it in Pokemon Legends ZA? You know, like, is this like an early game item? Or is this something that I have to wait till end game to get? 430 base stat, not horrible. But you have great, you have great abilities though. Hyper Cutter, I feel like is like a sleeper. Sand Veil, definitely a sleeper. Because I know it knows Sandstorm. And then, if you do happen to get a Gliscor, I would say 510? Who doesn't love a good Gliscar? I even have one in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it's an alpha. Shiny. Editor, roll the clip. We got Glyscor. I don't know necessarily what else is going to be on this list, but I think for the safety of where Glyscor is, I'd give it an A. The only reason why I wouldn't give it S is just because with Gligar and the way that you're able to evolve it, that's what's kind of keeping it down at an A, because with Razor Fang, at least in Gen 4, I know you have to wait a while in order to get a Razor Fang. So it's going to take a while for you to get a Gliscor. So I don't know necessarily we're going to put it where they're going to put the item in Pokemon Legends ZA. Hopefully it's early game or somewhere in the midst of early game. Ooh! Oh, this one this one's actually a sleeper. What you mean, bro? This Pokemon gets no love. I swear it doesn't. Swellow, bro. Oh my gosh, I forgot this was a freaking Pokemon. Swellow gets no love. None. Not a sing- Freaking put Fero over this Pokemon. Fero. Come on, where's my Swellow fans at, bruh? You know, and it has to be in the new game. Look, X and Y, Colosto Kalos. Coastal. Coastal Kalos. Apparently I can't read. But Swellow needs some love, bruh. And I feel like it's the time for it to get a Mega. I feel like this is the perfect time that Swellow needs a Mega. Like, Taylo to Swellow, that's it. Those are, those are the only forms it has. Its speed is great. I love it. Speed is great. 
Although, the stats on it are pretty trash. Last time you see this Pokemon is in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. That is the last time you see Swellow. I think it's time for a new change. This is Swellow's year. You know what? I'm putting it in S tier because I actually want to see this Pokemon thrive. Look, Guts, Scrappy. I forgot even what Scrappy does, but I know it has, I know it's a great ability. Enables moves to hit ghost type Pokemon. What? Yeah, give it Scrappy, bro. I give, I give Gengar the hands. I know it has a Mega too. You know, Megas are coming back. Man, this is the chance for me to give Gengar the freaking hands with a Swellow. <laughs> the Pokedex entry species, it's the Swallow Pokemon. Big pause. The next one is Lantern. Water and Electric is just a good typing to have. And I think Grass and Ground only, you know, those are the only things being your weakness. The thing is, is that you do get it in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You do get it in Generation 8, which is Sword and Shield. Uh, you do get it actually in X and Y, Coastal Kalos, again. So, I, I can't imagine it not being in the game. It literally has Water Absorb and Volt Absorb. <laughs> okay, bro. I, I, would give, I would give Lantern a B. I'm not, like, crazy about Lantern. Mostly because it's like, we already get it in Scarlet and Violet. You already get it in Sword and Shield. So, it's like, those were the two recent games of Pokemon. Aside from Pokemon Legends Arceus. It would be interesting to see it in a Legends Arceus, Legends ZA kind of format. So that's why I want to give it at least a B. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm put it behind Meowstic. Bro, how can you beat that freaking beret, bro? You can't beat the Meowstic beret French vibes. Wee wee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You know, if you gave this lantern a beret, you know, then it, it gets extra points. You should be happy that I'm giving it a B. If anything, freaking my first thought was giving it a freaking C, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice. I'll be nice. The next Pokemon is Zygarde, the main Pokemon of Pokemon Legends ZA. At least that's what we think. You know, obviously great stats. It's a legendary. Oh yeah, who figured? I just hear a bunch of rumors that like oh Zygarde's gonna be all the ride Pokemon forms, and I'm like, if it's really gonna be Zygarde being all the ride forms, that's so lame. The only thing that I would say is just that if we get more forms of Zygarde, I don't know if I really... I would want them to be battle forms. Like, I, I would want to be able to use them in battle. So... I feel like a lot of people are gonna be mad at me where I'm gonna put Zygarde, bro. I'm putting, I'm putting it in D, bro. The, the reason why I put it in D is just because you're not gonna be able to use Zygarde in your playthrough. You know, this whole tier list is what Pokemon are gonna be usable throughout your playthrough. And I know for a fact you're not gonna be able to use Zygarde until the end of probably the whole thing. Just like Pokemon Legends Arceus, you don't get Arceus until you beat the whole game. <laughs> if I'm thinking about that formula, then you're not gonna be able to use this until the end. Next Pokemon is Sharpedo. I feel like Sharpedo does make sense. Sharpedo does have a Mega, so... You know, more than likely, you know, there's a 50% chance, if not a greater chance, that Sharpedo will be in the game. It is an X and Y, Central Kalos. Stats, 460. I mean, it's average. For Sharpedo, I feel like I didn't realize that it was 460. But considering that it has five weaknesses, that is, it's pretty bad. I would say it's, it's pretty bad. What about Mega Sharpedo? Does that do anything better? Did it just raise its attack? Wow. Okay. Reasonable thing for me to do is put it in at least C tier. Because I do think this is a good Pokemon to have. 560 for your base stat total when you do have the Mega. But the only thing is like being able to find the Mega Orb for Sharpedo. I don't want to put it in B. Because, again, there's more cons to this Pokemon than there is... Then there is pros. Apom. Okay, so we got Ambipom on the scenes. You know what? You actually don't see Ambipom in X and Y. So this one's actually going to be interesting to see Ambipom. If it was in Lumios, though, could it get a regional form? Could it get a Mega? You know, would we want to see that? What's its move pool? I feel like its move pool is not that good for some reason. Of course, I could be wrong. Obviously, the level up moves, garbage. Uh, it knows Water Pulse? How does that thing know Water Pulse? There's no way this thing knows- it knows Thunder Wave? 
How does it know Thunder Wave? Oh, hold, hold on. Ampipom might actually have a better move pool than I expected. I don't think this is better than Sharpedo. I think this is actually worse than Sharpedo. Because at least with Sharpedo, like, you have a Mega. So it's kind of hard to beat a Mega. The next Pokemon is Deoxys? Oh my god, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Bro, who's writing this, bro? First of all, why? Second of all, the stats, obviously, 600. You know what I mean? It's a legendary Pokemon. Uh, Deoxys is an endgame kind of Pokemon. I can't even imagine that it's going to be in Pokemon Legends ZA. You know, it could be a side quest. You know, it could be a side quest. You know, we did get Manaphy in Pokemon Legends Arceus. You do have the Genie, the Forces of Nature. It has that kind of vibe of being in Pokemon Legends ZA, especially with the teaser and everything. And considering that it has all these different forms, like normal form, attack form, defense form, and speed form, you can make these bosses in Pokemon Legends ZA. If I'm going over the Pokemon Legends Arceus formula, I would say that this would have to be before Zygarde. I feel like Zygarde would necessarily be the ultimate Pokemon for you to catch. Who's that Pokemon? It's the Pringle Man! Jellicent! Yeah, look at that freaking mustache. 480. Damn, 480? You only have four weaknesses, though. No four times weaknesses. Here's the thing. If I put Sharpedo in C tier, this has to be a D tier. Worse. This is way worse than Sharpedo, because Sharpedo just basically destroys this Pokemon. And second, if you already have a water type, you wouldn't necessarily need Jellicent. And then now, the final Pokemon! I actually do like this one. It is Octillery. Again, you already have a water type in Sharpedo. Remoraid, like, based on a weapon, and Octillery based on a weapon. I think Octillery is based on a tank. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And if it is, will that be the Mega? It is an X and Y Pokemon. Coastal Kalos. 480. It's basically the same as Jellicent. I think this has to be at least a C. I'd rather have the Sharpedo than an Octillery. You know, unless this thing is going to get a Mega, then I'm then I'm I'm Octillery all the way. Cause I feel like it's time for this Pokemon, especially, to get a new form. But considering the fact that we did get it in Legends Arceus, and you do get it in Generation 8 with the Isle of Armor, do I really care if it gets one? Not necessarily. If you had these 10 Pokemon, where would you put them on your tier list? Uh, I'd actually want to know. Comment down below your tier list of these 10 Pokemon. The worst Pokemon on this tier list is Zygarde. I mean, who would have thought that? <laughs> the best Pokemon to put on your team in Pokemon Legends ZA is Swellow. Come on, my Swellow fans. I know y'all out there. 2025, y'all better watch out for my man Swellow, because... It's that swallow poke. As always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to crush that subscribe button, sand barrier, that shit. And you already know, join the Hidden Sand Village. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. And as my lord and savior says, y'all stay black a lamp and I'll see y'all in the next video. Auto insurance all seems the same. Stop with the auto insurance. <laughs> That's all, folks.